Welcome back to STS. In today's video, we're going to find the derivative of the function that we see here. Uh, we have to use the combination of the chain rule and the quotient rule to accomplish that. So let's begin by doing y prime. We're going to take the derivative of what's called the outer piece. So with that, we're going to use the power rule, meaning the 3 comes down as the new uh, coefficient in the front. I'm going to rewrite the inner parts, 1 over x. I'm sorry, 1 plus x as a numerator over 1 minus x and I need to uh, decrease this uh, exponent by 1 and now I need to multiply that by the derivative of the uh, internal piece so with this internal piece I need to use the quotient rule so I'm going to begin by writing my denominator 1 minus x and I'm going to multiply that by my numerator I'm, I'm sorry by the derivative of my numerator well the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of x is just 1 so I'm actually multiplying that by 1 uh, the quotient rule says I need to subtract off the um, I need to subtract and then I need to write my numerator which is 1 plus x and multiply that by the uh, derivative of the denominator in this case the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of negative x is negative 1 and that difference is divided by this denominator squared so this here would be 1 minus x and that quantity squared. Now let's go ahead and begin some simplification here. Let's rewrite. So 3, the 1 plus x over the 1 minus x, that quantity is squared, times, well I've got 1 times this quantity, which just gives me that quantity back, which is 1 minus x. And then here I've got a negative and another negative, which is going to make this positive. So I'm going to rewrite this as a plus 1 plus x and I'm just going to keep this denominator as it is I'm not going to uh, foil that out alright for my next uh, step of simplification again let's do the rewrite 1 plus x over 1 minus x that quantity is squared times well here I've got 1 and a 1 to give me a 2 and then a, a negative x plus a positive x so those go away and I'm left with this denominator again which is 1 minus x quantity squared and now I can do another step of simplification the 2 times the 3 to give me a 6 out front here and then I have the 1 plus x as my, denumer as my numerator um, and then the 1 minus x is my denominator that's squared times 1 over 1 minus x and that quantity is squared at this point I see I can rewrite this left hand side into two separate um, well it's still a fraction but I'm going to show how um, it's being raised to the second power in both the numerator and denominator so this here is really 6 times 1 plus x quantity squared over 1 minus x quantity squared and that's multiplied by 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared so 1 times this quantity gives me that quantity back 6 times 1 plus x quantity squared and I know from my rules of exponents when my bases match exactly I just add my exponents so this here turns into the quantity 1 minus x raised to the fourth power so this here is in fact the derivative of the um, original function that sums it up for this video by Speller Tutorial Services please friend us on Facebook and also subscribe to that YouTube channel both found under the name Spell Tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching.